A small boat is being pulled into a dock that is two feet above the water surface by a rope. So let's say this is our dock. Which is two feet above the water surface. So that will be two feet. And we have our boat here. Okay. The rope is attached to the boat at a point that is two feet above the surface. So again, the boat is attached to that point, which is two feet above the surface. And the pulley is five feet above the dock. So we have a pulley here, which is five feet. And then the rope coming from the pulley to the boat. Okay, the rope is being reeled at the rate of 4 feet per second. If we denote the distance from the boat to the pulley as y, then the given information tells us the rate of y is negative 4 feet per second. The negative sign indicates that as time pass, the value of y is decreasing and it, it, it makes sense because when we pull the rope, the rope becomes shorter. Okay, and what we are looking for here is how fast is the boat coming toward the docks at the moment the bow is 12 feet away from the base of the pulley step. Okay, so if this is x, then what we are looking for is the rate of x exactly when this x distance is equal to 12. So when x is 12. Okay, notice that here we have a right triangle then by Pythagorean we have x squared plus 5 squared equals y squared and then we use implicit differentiation 2x dx over dt equals so remember that we take the derivative with respect to t since x and y are quantities that depends on t and the right hand side will be 2y dy over dt. Okay, let's check if we are able to solve for dy over dt. We know the value of x, which is 12. We know the value of dy over dt, which is negative 4. But we don't know yet the value of y. Okay, so before we continue, we need to find what is the value of y when x is 12. So we say that when x is 12, this triangle above will become like this. 12, 5, and y. So when x equals 12, y squared is... 5 squared plus 12 squared, which is 169. That implies that y equals 13. Theoretically, y equals plus minus 13, but since y indicates a length, then y must be positive. So we take positive 13. Okay, so we know when x equals 12, y is 13. Then plug into 
the equation one all the information we have 2 times x our x is 12 equals 2 times y when x equals 12 y equals 13 so 13 and the y over dt is given which is negative 4 feet per second so we substitute that and we solve for the x over the t we can make some cancellation to make the computation easier so the x over the t is negative 42 over I'm sorry negative 52 over 12 and we can simplify this a little bit negative 13 over 3 and the unit is so everything is in feet so this will be feet per second and so the velocity is and that's all hopefully it is clear